Hi guys, Dr. Weiner here. Today, I'd like to talk with you about why you might find that some strong emotions like anger or intense anxiety stick around for a really, really long time well after perhaps certain situations have ended. The reason behind that, or one of them anyway, has to do with the difference between natural emotions and manufactured emotions. Now, a natural emotion is something that naturally arises when you're in a situation. You have an emotional reaction to something happening in your world and how you interpret it, but then it, it moves through. You, you feel it, you express it, and it resolves. Where the, they stick around for a really long time, though, is when you attach a thought onto that original natural emotion that locks it in place, where you can get the emotion to come back again and again and again, just by thinking the same thought over again. So this an example of this could be something like, uh, if you're thinking about a situation with someone that really got you worked up and you reflect back on it and you feel really tense again, or you were embarrassed about something, but then you think to yourself, oh my gosh, I totally ruined my you know, entire social standing, or now what are they gonna think about me next? That thought process kicks that emotion right back into place. So some of these stronger, deeper emotions, like hatred, like shame, like uh, very persistent, generalized anxiety, it's all driven by thoughts, by manufacturing emotions through the stories that we tell ourselves. And in therapy, figuring out what those thoughts are, what those stories are, and then working to move them through, resolve them, maybe even release them, is a big part of the work that we do in therapy. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. If it was helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe.